everyone! I'm really sorry if this video is poorly lit and there are annoying shadows but um, I decided at the last minute to film this video and it's <laughs> getting a little bit dark now, we're not really having the nice summer weather that we are used to. Well, we're not really even used to it are we? We just had a couple of nice weeks in June and July and then the weather went rubbish. Um, I do have my studio lights on but they're not that good and they create some annoying shadows so again I'm sorry but hopefully you'll enjoy the video anyway. Um, I wanted to show you my traveller's notebook today and to show you my setup and how I'm using it um, because a couple of people have asked. So this traveller's notebook is a Webster's Pages standard sized traveller's notebook. This is the mint floral one and it has gold foiling on it, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much that I actually ordered the navy version from Anna's shop Mrs Brimble's this morning. So yes, that is where the notebook comes from and I think it's got four elastics but you can really stuff it full. Um, this beautiful bow is from my friend Geraldine, she has an Etsy shop which I'll leave down below. She made this bow especially to match this um, notebook um, and on the side, I don't know if you can see these but I have one charm, this is from Geraldine, she actually sent it to me as a surprise like two years ago maybe. Um, before I was even friends with her and it matches the notebook perfectly um, and then I have this one which is from Crate Paper and again it matches quite nicely. So if you open the notebook up, I know that there might be some people watching who don't actually know what a traveller's notebook is, so basically a traveller's notebook is um, it's kind of like a notebook cover, so this cover itself is the traveller's notebook and it has elastics inside it and you can put um, notebooks, inserts onto these elastics so you can have different notebooks for different topics or different notebooks for different lists, whatever you fancy. Um, sorry if you can hear the kids playing outside. So I don't tend to use mine as an actual planner, I've tried it a couple of times and I haven't really gotten on with it. Um, I use mine for um, creative pursuits really. So on the inside pocket I have lots of just pretty things, um, they don't really serve a purpose, they just make me happy when I open the planner. So I have um, this little card that says Love Life, that's from Heidi Swap I think. I have an Ollie clip, this um, paper clip is from Charlie's Magpie, I've got bunny ears, a dachshund and a Yorkie, all from um, Cherry Blossom in the Market Square. These paper clips with the ribbon on are from, um, they're from a lady called Charlie but I can't remember what her shop is called or if she even has her shop anymore. Um, I don't think she does, but if I can remember I'll leave it in the description below. Um, I've got some sticky notes and some Project Life cards, and then I have some stickers in the pocket at the back. So the first thing I have in here um, is a pocket insert, and it is around one of my notebooks. So the back side has like credit card slots, and I've just got some old sticky notes in there. Um, and then the front part is a zip pocket and I have stickers in here that I often use in my creative journal. So I've got lots of samplers from people. Um, I feel like this is the best way for me to use up my samplers. Um, I've got some dot stickers. Again, I've got more little samplers that came in the UK Planner Addicts goodie bags when I went to the big meet some heart stickers and some puffy stickers. I always find that having these to hand means that I use them more often, whereas if they're tucked away somewhere, they're out of sight, out of mind. Um, so yeah, I just pop all of my loose stickers into this pocket in the hopes that I'll use them. And this beautiful crocheted bow is by Foxy Susie Plans. The first notebook I have in here is the one that I don't really use massively often. Um, I 
am a list person and I like to write my lists down. So what I do is I have a list section or a notebook or whatever in every handbag, in every planner I have. Um, and I decided to pop um, an insert in here as well for lists, just in case I'm ever out and about and this is the only planner that I have on me, so if I've taken my creative journal somewhere, that's the only thing I have on me. Um, it means I can have a place to write my lists. Um, all of the inserts in this notebook are from Webster's Pages as well. So the notebook itself is from Webster's Pages and all of the inserts are from Webster's Pages. This is a photo of my boyfriend and I when we went to Croatia in 2014. It's a Instax Polaroid picture and it's one of my favourite photos of us. It's always in my planners. I have a little ollie clip holding it in place and a paper clip. I'm not sure where that paper clip came from. Um, but this is where I write just random lists. Like I said, I don't really use it massively often. It tends to be just if I'm out and about and that's the only notebook that I have on me. So that is the first insert in this traveller's notebook. The next one is my current creative journal insert. So I have this vellum dashboard which um, my lovely friend Sam made for me. I met her through UK Planner Addicts and um, she came to Cam's PlannerCon this year and she had a big envelope of stickers for me and some traveller's notebook goodies too um, and it's this gorgeous gold foiled honeycomb print so that's just protecting the cover of my current insert again this is from Webster's Pages and I'll give you a quick flip of my current creative journal that's pretty much where I'm up to with that and there's the back side of that cover and then the last notebook in here is um, the one that I shared a flip through of the other day it was like my second to last video so I'll try and remember to link that in the description um, but yeah that's my first creative journal that I ever completed and part of the reason that I ordered the um, blue navy floral TN is so that I have somewhere to put my completed inserts when I start having quite a few of them. So this one will probably move into the blue floral planner when it arrives. But I love how chunky this notebook is and how tactile it is. Um, and in the back I just have my UKPA paperclip, a little sun paperclip and my Kiki K pen. So I hope you enjoyed that little setup video. It's not as interesting as other people's, um, which I apologize for, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Um, I absolutely love this traveler's notebook and I hope to continue using it for a long time. Um, creative journaling is something I've really fallen in love with and I'm only getting more and more interested in it. So yeah. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below, please leave suggestions for videos that you would like to see on this channel and I will see you next time. Bye guys!